In this video, we will show you how to set up a multi-level IVR with CloudTalk's CallFlow Designer. This feature allows you to set up different phone trees in order to route and manage calls efficiently. In our IVR example, a caller is firstly greeted by a welcome message followed by IVR. After the recording, the customer is asked to choose from a series of prompts. She can either press 1 for orders or 2 for invoices. Based on the number selected, the customer is then redirected to the most appropriate agent or department, sent to a new IVR or voicemail. Let's start with designing the example. As the first step, navigate to the section numbers and select the one you want to design the IVR for. When clicking on number settings, you can enable or disable the call recording or mandatory call tagging and configure business hours or international calls. As the first step, we will insert playback of a recording with the welcome message. If you want to add your custom message, go to the section Sounds and upload your recordings there. Next step is to insert an IVR. It allows you to redirect all your calls to the most appropriate department. In our case, customers can either press 1 to be redirected to orders or press 2 to be routed to invoices. In the IVR setting, you should select the specific recording your customers are going to hear and the waiting length on this step. Let's start with the first branch. As we don't want to record the call for this specific branch, we disabled the call recording here. In order to create multi-level IVR, we will insert the second IVR. In our case, customers can either press 1 to make a new order or press 2 to get information about an existing order. In the IVR setting, select the specific recording and the waiting length on this step. IVR is going to repeat itself until the customer presses a suggested button because no failover option is set up. Let's continue by inserting the option call to group. You can select the group you want to connect a customer to and the length of waiting on this step. Don't forget to add IVR keyboard number here. If no agent from this call group is available to call with a customer at that time, you can add voicemail after this step. Here, you can select which group should receive this voicemail. Furthermore, you can decide if this voicemail will be sent to the agent's email and if the voicemail recording should be attached. In the second line, we need to create call flow for a customer having a question about the existing order. To make the processes faster, we can play a short message to the customers, where we ask them to prepare their order number. After this step, the customer will be redirected to the call group you select in settings. Now, we can move to the second branch. Let's say that you want to record just this branch. Therefore, you insert the option Call Recording. After turning it on, you will redirect your customer to the call group Finance. As we didn't insert any waiting length here, we cannot continue to build our call flow further as the call will ring on Finance Group until someone from your agents picks up or customer hangs up. Traditionally, IVR is being repeated until the customer presses a button. If you wish to present a failover option, which will be executed if the customer doesn't press any of the provided options, you can add it as a separate branch for that IVR. In our example, let's redirect them to the general group. Now you're all set. Please save your call flow by clicking on Save the Plan. Let's see the example of the IVR scenario your customer might experience after building this call flow. Thank you for calling Company.io. Please note that this call might be recorded for quality assurance. To get information about orders, press 1. To get information about invoices, press 2. To make a new order, press 1. To get information about your existing order, press 2. Please prepare your order number. You will now be connected to a customer support representative. Hi, this is Josh from Company.io. I see you're calling about your existing order. I can see that you currently have two open orders. Can you please tell me your order ID? Thanks for watching.